Greenberg Traurig is an international law firm founded in Miami, Florida, United States in 1967 by Larry J. Hoffman, Mel Greenberg and Robert H. Traurig. It has 38 offices in the United States, Latin America, Europe, the Middle East and Asia, and approximately 2,000 attorneys worldwide. Their largest office is in New York City. Topic History Greenberg, Traurig and Hoffman was founded in Miami, Florida, in 1967 by attorneys Mel Greenberg, Robert H. Traurig, and Larry J. Hoffman. In the 1970s Greenberg, Traurig and Hoffman became Greenberg, Traurig, Hoffman, Lipoff, and Quentel with the addition of attorneys Norman H. Lipoff and Albert D. Quentel as named shareholders. The late Florida Governor Reuben Askew was a named shareholder in the early 1980s while he also sought the Democratic nomination for president. Larry Hoffman became managing partner of the firm in 1991, at which point the firm began to expand nationwide, beginning with the opening of an office in New York City. Greenberg Traurig expanded to Chicago, Boston, Los Angeles, and Wilmington, Delaware in 1999. In 2000, the firm doubled the size of its New York City office by acquiring the local office of the defunct Graham and James. In July 2009, Greenberg Traurig opened an office in London under the name of Greenberg Traurig Mar LLP, since renamed to Greenberg Traurig LLP. The London office is currently located in the Shard skyscraper. According to the Center for Responsive Politics, Greenberg Traurig was one of the top law firms contributing to federal candidates during the 2012 election cycle, donating $1.49 million, 50.2% to Democrats. By comparison, during that same period a kin gump Strauss Hauer and Feld donated $2.56 million, 66% to Democrats, while oil conglomerate ExxonMobil donated $2.66 million, 88% to Republicans. Since 1990, Greenberg Traurig contributed $11.2 million to federal campaigns. In 2013, the firm launched a residency program to hire associates who are not recruited in traditional on campus interviews by allowing them to spend up to a third of their billable hours in training for a one year trial period. In 2016, Brian Duffy became CEO. In July 2018, founding member Robert Traurig died at age 93 in Miami, Florida. As of 2018, Greenberg Traurig was the 14th largest law firm in the United States. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Corporate social responsibility. Since its launch in 2009, Greenberg Traurig has participated in the American Bar Association's National Pro Bono Week. The Greenberg Traurig Holly Skolnick Fellowship Foundation was established in 1999. The foundation supports Equal Justice Works public interest lawyers. Previously named the Greenberg Traurig Fellowship Foundation, the program was renamed in 2013 in honor of the late Holly Skolnick, a Greenberg Traurig shareholder who helped establish the foundation and served as its president. <laughs> <laughs> Finances Topic Awards and Rankings Topic Controversies In January 2001, lobbyist Jack Abramoff left Preston Gates and Ellis to join Greenberg Traurig. Abramoff brought a book of business then worth more than $6 million annually to Greenberg Traurig, according to his own estimates. At the firm he assembled, Team Abramoff, a lobbying team that was involved in the Jack Abramoff Indian lobbying scandal and the monetary influence of Jack Abramoff. 
In 2001, Victor Reyes, who headed the Hispanic Democratic Organization and had close ties to Chicago Mayor Richard M. Daley, joined Greenberg Traurig and led the firm's Chicago lobbying practice. After Reyes's arrival, from 2001 to 2005, Greenberg earned $3.5 million in city-related legal fees, including for representing the city in the United Airlines and RCN cable TV bankruptcies. U.S. Attorney Patrick Fitzgerald subsequently alleged that Reyes's law office was central to a patronage scheme to funnel city jobs to pro-daily campaign workers. Reyes resigned from Greenberg in August 2005, and in September federal prosecutors indicted five city employees, including a former Reyes aide, in the scandal. Reyes wasn't charged, but prosecutors called him as a co-schemer in the indictment. Greenberg CEO Cesar Alvarez stated, I don't know about anything Reyes did in the firm that was wrong. I can only know what I have seen, and I only know that he hasn't been charged. In May 2005, Philadelphia partner Robert S. Grossman pleaded guilty to charges that he had lied in a 1996 bankruptcy case to cover up his improper diversion of over $100,000 to his personal account when he worked as a real estate developer in Virginia. Greenberg Traurig professed surprise at Grossman's arrest the following November for failing to report to prison, and stated that Grossman hadn't disclosed the criminal proceeding to the firm. Greenberg has stated that it now does background checks on all new employees. In December 2005, Leonard Ross, an attorney formerly with Greenberg Traurig's Philadelphia office, was charged with fraud as part of an investigation by the Federal Bureau of Investigation into city government. Ross was a friend and former law partner of Philadelphia Mayor John F. Street. Federal prosecutors alleged that Ross's employment at Greenberg was entirely dependent on his relationship with Mayor Street and a motive for selling his office as a PLC Penn's Landing Corporation board member. In June 2006, Greenberg Traurig agreed to pay the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation $7.6 million for its role as a legal advisor advisor to the now-defunct Hamilton Bank of Miami, to settle allegations that it had helped to cover up bank offices' financial misconduct. The firm paid an additional $750,000 fine to the Office of the Controller of the Currency for allegedly protecting the bank's officers by making materially false and misleading assertions and by suppressing material evidence. In November 2006, J.I. Gordon, the former chairman of Greenberg Traurig's tax practice, resigned from the New York bar and was disbarred for taking over $1.2 million in kickbacks on tax shelters that he had recommended to wealthy clients of the firm. On July 12, 2006, the Alabama Kushata tribe filed a federal racketeering lawsuit against now convicted Abramoff and his cohorts. The suit said the firm allowed checks sent by the tribe to a bogus Abramoff linked think tank to be funneled and cashed through Greenberg Traurig. In April 2008, the charges of deception, theft, and conspiracy were dismissed by Guam prosecutors after Greenberg Traurig agreed to refund $324,000 in lobbying fees to the Guam judiciary. In November 2008, a New York state court refused to dismiss a suit alleging that Robert J. Ivanhoe, head of its real estate group, disregarded his legal and fiduciary duties by taking a personal financial stake in a competitor to a client that had invested in a multi-billion dollar real estate venture. The former client had sued Ivanhoe and Greenberg Traurig in April 2008 for breach of fiduciary duty, aiding and abetting breach of fiduciary duty, tortious interference with prospective economic damages, and malpractice. Greenberg Traurig responded that the allegations were, "...without merit." 
and that it would appeal the ruling. In December 2008, the firm and several current and former firm attorneys Harley Lewin and Stephen Wodiker were sued in the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Virginia by Catherine and Richard Snyder of Herndon, Virginia. Also named in the suit, Greenberg Treyarig's client, Diane von Furstenberg Studios, Cond Nas Publications, The New Yorker and New Yorker staff reporter, Larissa McFarqua. The Snyder's suit stems from a suit filed in the same court by Diane von Furstenberg Studios against Catherine Snyder in December 2006 for trademark infringement, which resulted in an award of damages to DVF Studios. The Snyder's complaint alleges, among other things, that the Greenberg attorneys made false statements to the court when applying for a search warrant and that one Wodiker impersonated a federal officer by flashing a badge and stating that he was with the office of the U.S. attorney. The suit also alleges that the attorneys failed to post a required bond and that the search of the Snyder's home exceeded the scope of the warrant and resulted in the seizure of many personal items. The suit also alleges that the firm's attorneys improperly brought New Yorker staff reporter McFarqua, who was profiling Lewin for a forthcoming article, into the Snyder's home while conducting their raid in December 2006 pursuant to the search warrant. In 2014, the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC looked into insider trader allegations between United States House Ways and Means Subcommittee on Health Staff Director Brian Sutter and Mark Hayes, a lobbyist at Greenberg Traurig. In November, 2015, New York U.S. District Judge Paul Gardiff ordered the U.S. House of Representatives Ways and Means Committee and a former staffer to respond to an SEC subpoena request within 10 days in a health care insider trading probe, but he did term the request, overbroad. The SEC sought to determine whether Sutter or anyone else from the committee tipped off lobbyist Mark Hayes of Greenberg Traurig, which information was then forwarded to Height Securities LLC. Judge Gardiff reasoned that the Congressional Speech and Debate Clause does not provide protection for information communicated by a legislative member or aid to a member of the public, and that Sutter's statements to employees of Greenberg are consequently not protected and must be produced. After two years of litigation and its Second Circuit appeal of the subpoena in December 2015, the committee finally dropped its opposition to the order requested by the SEC. In May 2018, the firm parted ways with Rudy Giuliani over his allegations that he would pay his clients' adversaries hush money in a manner consistent with the Stormy Daniels affair. Mr. Giuliani suggested that such payments were common at his firm, even without the knowledge of the clients. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> External links. Profile at SourceWatch. Organizational profile at the National Law Review.